Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Toki. It was released in the arcades by Tad Corporation in 1989 and it's a run and gun platforming game. Uh, basically you play, I don't know, like the, the hero of your village and your girlfriend or the queen or the princess, her basically, is kidnapped by the evil magician and you are turned into an ape basically but you retain the ability well you retain i don't think you had it in the first place you basically spit at people filthy habits uh, and that is your main form of defense and you can upgrade it you can also jump around i think you can to some degree land on enemies and you scroll from left to right sometimes right to left and sometimes from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen destroying enemies collecting coins and power-ups so yeah reaching the arcade in 1989 i played that in the arcade i always talk about in westwood ho and absolutely loved it even though i was shit at it it was released to a bunch of stuff there is a atari lynx version that i have a gameplay of that's absolutely fantastic uh there is a nes version which i've never played there's also a Commodore 64 version which is fantastic don't think well no sorry i don't think there's an atari st version i could be wrong on that but it was supposed to come out on the Spectrum and the Amstrad, and even though there are screenshots floating around of it, it never actually materialised. In fact, there's screenshots of the Spectrum, but there might actually be a, play a partially playable ROM on the Amstrad. By all means, don't quote me on that, because I don't own an Amstrad. It's also on the Mega Drive, but the Mega Drive is kind of a weird, inspired by the arcade. Parts of it have the same bosses and look like the arcade, but it's also kind of its own thing, uh, which is meant I was really actually quite disappointed with it. So I've never played this before on the Amiga and really am quite looking forward to it. Because as I said, loved it in the arcade uh, and knew that this was a one-to-one-ish port of it. However, I could have set it to two-button control because um, this is a hacked ROM, but I forgot to. So I'll have to use up as jump. Um, there is a toggle mechanism. Well, I'll explain it when we get into it, which means you either shoot or you jump. And it does make things a little difficult. I do believe that this got really, really good reviews, at least on the Amiga. So, um, yeah, basically, let's get into it. So... Fire, Lee, pause that and read it. Duck, hold fire, spit away. So if I'm holding fire, I lock my character into basically firing mode. And then if I press up, and I can fire when I'm in the air, um, yeah, so up becomes jump. But then hold fire down, and there you go. So it works decently. There you go, collect the money. I'm presuming just get enough money. Uh, buy yourself some bloody clothes. Um, you collect, oh, you can go backwards. I like that. The parallax is lovely. It looks really, really nice. The music's great and does bear a decent resemblance to the arcade. Upgraded my flop. Right. So, yeah, you kind of get used to it, but I could. I can't fire diagonally down. I could if I wanted to. Do I want that? Do I want to keep this? I don't know if I wanted that. I could have mapped it, but like I said, this is a hack room, so I could have just used um in the screen at the start, like a workbench screen. Tick to box. Right, watch out for these things. Because, see those spikes? When it blows up, it shoots them out. Then these things will go down. Well, that one, but this one will. See, it's, it's an American football helmet. You know we're in the middle of the bloody Amazon. Right, so there you go. It, it makes you... Well, it gives you protection. I don't think it makes you invulnerable. You can take a bunch of hits. Here's the thing. See that? Jump. Whee! This looks lovely. Right. Don't go straight up because this is this is a mid-level boss. I don't know. This looks fantastic. There is a HD remaster on the Switch, isn't there? Unless they crammed in a whole bunch of levels, I can't really see the point of that. Because even if you make it look shiny and fantastic, it's not a massive game, is it? But then I don't know how big a you know Woody you have for Toki. What's this? Moon. Basically, it's the ship from our type in stage three. It's not, but you know what I mean. Oh, you're far with that. Useful. There we go. So, clear this up path. Not particularly difficult. Shouldn't have said that out loud. Words die by. Is there shit? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Try 
traders. You're fucking traders. Look at my... Oh, that's so cool. This looks really, really nice. Oh, flame. Flame on. Yep. I bet that stinks. I don't like that because, see what I mean? You don't know. I kind of know because I played it a lot during main. Um, you know, I kind of know what's going on with what I'm saying, but it's got, it's got that whole jump into the unknown. Duck! That's a bit awkward because there's a ramp there. Oh, these bastards. I'm guessing I don't have. Right. I don't know. Endless continues. Sorry, awkward pause. Can't think and play at the same time. He's going to appear. Watch out for projectiles. Some memorization is in. Ooh, shake harder, boy. In order. No, like the fact there's a checkpoint going on there, obviously. This is amusing, though. ghost is it a ghost i don't know i mean this magician he's got some crazy mojo shit going on anyway bottom of the screen is all the information and stuff like that it's nice to know that we don't have a fuck off big bezel for once or a hud and the information is outside of the screen can't get that don't know why some sort of power up was probably it no you jump on those blokes when you see those weird green blokes that i keep shooting don't you use them them basically to get up to the next level. Right, you're gonna... Are you absolutely shitting me? Oh, that's that's just not cricket. So, so there's a checkpoint as such when I keep dying in the cave and it puts me back to just before that little green ghost thing or whatever the fuck it is that's chucking the spear at me. But when I want to continue on the level, ooh, it puts me all the way back here. I don't think it does that in the other versions. Uh, it probably doesn't in the Congo. It certainly doesn't in the Atari Lynx, which is an absolutely, if I mentioned it's a fantastic version, it's a fantastic version. Just thought I'd tell you again, in case you didn't believe me the first time. Concentrating. So yeah, memorize shit. That's your, that's your, uh, that's your homework. I'll check in on you next week. So that helmet gets rid of my power up. Yoink. Oh, see? Helmet. Helmet to the future. Don't like the valley gives a little power up though. Right. Again, you've got to be very precise and remember that you have to press fire to lock it. That's dead Andy though. I'm not going to lie that I can shoot on the, uh, the vine. You're really not going to see much of this. To be fair. Oh shit. The arcade's quite um, challenging in places. Right. Yeah, so we're locked in. You duck automatically. Once you press down, you stay there. I think it's just because it knows that that thing's above you. Gives you a fair chance. Gives you a snowball's chance in hell, if you will. Oh, shit. My fault. Forgot about that. I don't think that's a checkpoint then. It's just being, I don't know, conservative where it starts for me after I die. He's moving me back a bit, essentially. To... I don't know. Give me a chance. But it gets frustrated. It certainly should have jumped me that far back. That can. You would have thought there would have been a checkpoint after this. You can shoot them off the screen. Good to know. It gives you some chance. No. He's an ape. Why has he got a gap between the, the fur on the back of his fucking back <laughs> and his ass? You're like... I do like this though. I mean, it may be a tad difficult, but it certainly looks part. And to be fair, most of the difficulty problems could, I remember that time, be fixed Ooh. by me mapping the um, keys. Duck. Right. Right. Did I shoot the thing? I shot the... Th no! There you go. What was around here that I forgot? Ooh. That. 
Yoink. Oh, what the fuck? You Ooh, that's a bit precise. Ooh! Oh, fuck off! Don't! God, you gotta remember. You gotta fucking be on your toes. I didn't. It doesn't just start you back, but it keeps everyone alive. No! That's because it's Matt. You. It, ooh! Shake harder, boy. Yeah, memorize the tits out of it and you'll be alright. But make sure you put um, two button controls on because that. That's why most of my depths, depths, depths in this are have been incredibly cheap. But like I said, it's a bit tits risky in the arcade. So if you like the arcade, you definitely like this. But also, if you like the arcade, I got I got Willy Pop. Sorry. <laughs> if you like the arcade, I think I got away with it. Then you definitely like this as a conversion. But it just oh, I don't know. It's a little cheap. It just you know it doesn't fuck around. It's got that whole. When it starts you, just make sure you bloody remember that whatever was there before you killed it and before you died will be there again. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, it's a little bit of variation. Right. It does not automatically duck you, but once you press it, you stay ducked. So I guess you could argue, kind of, I don't know, I'd say babysits you, helps you out in some parts. It'd be so much easier if I just remembered to put bloody two button control on. But hey, it's an Amiga game. You'd think I'd be used to this shit by now, wouldn't you? Come on, come on. Is, there a, is the next stage or is that the Mega Drive? Remembered you. Um, ooh! Underwater? One of them is. Well, that was convenient. Shit! Again, that's just the up control. See, look! I don't like the way it respawns all the bad guys. Duck! And him. Talking and playing, I've said it many times, it's not my bag. Also, this jump's getting on my tits, come on. These jumps as well make me nervous. Oh fuck! Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. I think I had, I struggled at this bit uh, in the arcade and on the links and on the Commodore 64. Fuck it, you gotta go back on the Commodore 64. Right, remember that. Is there a range? Oh no, no. Like, fuck, there's no time. Here we go. No, these fucking spiders! Ooh! You dead? Yoink! Shit! You definitely need to do the fucking buttons. Ooh. Continue? No, because of course not. Can't be asked, can't be asked. Most of the deaths were cheap and purely my fault because of the way it's mapped. But that's fixable, like I said, that's fixable. You can either, you know, do it with the, uh, the hack at the start of the game or you can do it properly uh, with the setup uh, on your A500 Mini. But, uh, as crap as I've been at it, I will say this is a bloody decent port of the arcade game. Shame we never got on the Spectrum because obviously I would have loved it on my beloved Spectrum. There's always a lot to know what you think, especially if you played this or any of the other versions. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.